So welcome to the Miracles and Science Center for Continuous Personal and Professional Development. Today, the fourth Sunday of the month of December, I come with another Sunday message from the Miracles and Science Center. Usually, every Sunday, I come with a message packaged in a simple quotation, but very, very powerful. The reason is, as I have mentioned before, the Miracles and Science Center aims at holistic living. We aim at providing personal and professional development by touching on the different pillars that constitute human life. And those pillars will encourage people to be able to balance how to live, how to relate, how to earn, and how to learn. Also, we encourage people to take the four components that constitute them seriously, each one giving it attention. The physical body, the mind, the soul, and the spirit. Therefore, Every Sunday, we come with a special Sunday message packaged mainly to enhance the spiritual part of ourselves as part and parcel of a balanced life. So this Sunday message is that if you are spiritually armed, you don't need any firearms. So the spiritual armament, or when you are spiritually armed, I mean that you already have the spiritual power that is going to fight for you in the battle that you may encounter. I know in life we intend to use physical effort to fight our battles, but many of the battles actually are not the ours. They are battles that we need to be able to put the Lord to fight them for us. This reminds me, there are a number of stories in the Bible where people were not able to fight their own battles, but through the Spirit of God. For example, we see that in the story of the children of Israel, when they reached the wall, we call it the wall of Jericho, what happened? They did not have any equipment to break down the wall. They did not have firearms to shoot through the wall. But if you read the book of Joshua, actually starting from chapter 5, verse 13, and then you go through to chapter 6 onwards, there is a story of the fall of the wall of Jericho. It shows you the aspect of having spiritual power to fight your wars, not necessarily having firearms. After all, how many people have firearms? Also, we see, for example, in Psalms 127, we are told that unless the Lord God protects the city, those who do, the soldiers, those with the weapons, those with the firearms, those with missiles, actually, they don't do much. Therefore, not everything you have to actually need firearms to address. There's a lot that can be addressed when you are actually spiritually armed. And this has been the Sunday message for this Sunday. Have a blessed Sunday. Thank you.